Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan bringing you all the headlines that you need to know for Monday, November 5th. Today we've got a woman who's really excited at Starbucks and a new segment called Yes or BS. All that and more right here on your Guys and Speed Round. Sorry. A woman in Florida was caught masturbating in the lobby of her local Starbucks. I guess she thought with all the bloggers and novelists on their laptops, no one would notice another jerk-off. Mayor Bloomberg finally came to his senses and canceled the New York City Marathon this weekend, given that, I don't know, Hurricane Sandy happened. But many of the runners showed up in Staten Island anyway to help with the relief efforts. Because douchebags are really absorbent. The New York Times health blog has confirmed that natural disasters do affect the birth and marriage rates, but whether they increase or decrease them is not known. So basically, the New York Times health blog has confirmed nothing. Kirstie Alley says that John Travolta, her co-star from Look Who's Talking, is the love of her life. Oh, wow. A fat lady loves a gay guy. Shocker. A new study says that waiting to lose your virginity until your 20s means that you'll have better sex later in life. And if you lose it before your 20s, you'll have better sex earlier in life. Like, right around your 20s. All right, kids, get excited. It's time for a new segment that I like to call Yes or BS. <laughs> In this exciting new segment, we're going to talk about rumors circulating about certain celebrities and then decide whether or not we believe them. First up, we've got a rumor about Charlie Sheen. I guess now would be a good time to clarify. When I say celebrities, it's a very loose definition. <laughs> Apparently, Charlie Sheen once paid for vaginal rejuvenation surgery for his favorite prostitute. And while that sounds totally believable, I'm voting BS. Because why would a prostitute with a, a loose vagina be your favorite? Just in case we've all started to forget that Amanda Bynes is completely nuts, rumor has it that she walked into the lobby of a tanning salon completely naked looking for goggles. Because I think Amanda Bynes is probably pretty selfish, I'm saying yes. Because she's worried about permanent damage to her eyes, but doesn't give a shit about yours. New details in the CeeLo Green sexual assault case have emerged. Apparently, he slipped an ecstasy pill into his date's drink and then had sex with her when she blacked out. This one's tough, because on the one hand, I don't know enough about ecstasy. Like, I've never taken it, but I have friends who do, and I don't think it's ever caused anyone to black out. But then again, if you're going to go on a date with CeeLo Green, then you probably know the only way you're going to enjoy that is if you take a little ecstasy, just to get on his level. So if he slipped it in her drink, she probably overdosed, which would cause her to black out. So I'm just going to say yes. According to TMZ, people in LA have been calling Child Protective Services and saying that Kardashian mom Kris Jenner beats her daughter Kylie with a belt. Um, I'm calling BS just because that's the one family in the entire country that has no use for a belt. This has been Yes or BS. Former Mississippi Governor Haley Barber says that Hurricane Sandy stole Romney's momentum. I guess she didn't like the binders comment. Researchers at Case Western Reserve University in Ohio have found that it's impossible to empathize and analyze at the same time. So for all you people that seem to think I'm just like a really mean person who doesn't have any feelings and is never happy, science. Adding to the embarrassingly long list of gender neutral products now being marketed specifically for women, Honda has introduced the She's, a car for ladies in Japan. It's like pink, with pink leather stitching and a pink console. But unlike the Bic for her or Chick beer, this isn't actually made for women. It's made for men, so they can spot women on the road. Partygoers at the club that Rihanna and Chris Brown went to together for Halloween say that she was giving him lap dances all night long, which I normally wouldn't even find remotely worth mentioning if it weren't for the fact that he was dressed as a terrorist and she was dressed as weed. Oh, God. Here's hoping she gets smoked and he dies in a plane crash. And that's going to do it for your speed round, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't left yet, I'll throw a link in the description to a video that will make you do so. Enjoy your Mondays, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know. Of course, I lost it right there at the end. <laughs> Good morning, every... Oh.
your host. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. <coughs> Mayor Bloomberg finally came to his <coughs> Aerosmith. <coughs> A new study says that what? <coughs> <coughs> Woo!